Some airlines are now offering a type of price protection. Yeah, it's an option to lock in a price for a ticket for a few days before you commit to buying it. Consumer Watch reporter Julie Watts is live at SFO with more on who the protection plans really protect. Julie? Yeah, guys, you know, these tools that allow you to lock in the lowest price on airline tickets are becoming more popular. More airlines are offering them, but we've discovered there is a catch. So I really thought that Fairlock was going to give me the best price. News planning editor Gretchen White knows a thing or two about finding good travel deals. She books travel for station employees. I were to... One of her tricks? Fairlock. A program offered by United that, for a small fee, lets you freeze a fare for a few days so it doesn't go up while you make up your mind. But when Gretchen recently went back to purchase a Fairlock flight, she noticed something surprising when she checked the flight on a different browser. The fare came up and it was $100 less than what I was locked into with Fairlock. She'd assumed paying the Fairlock fee secured the lowest price during that period. I would have thought with all of the emails that you got, you know, reminding you to purchase the ticket, that there would have been something that would have indicated that perhaps there was a better deal available. But it turns out that's not the case. Airlines uh, want to protect you against the fare going up, but they want to protect themselves against the fare going down. Travel analyst Henry Hardevelt says it's up to the consumer to price check often to ensure they're getting the best deal. And United's not alone. American Airlines offers a similar extended hold program for a small fee, but like United, American says it only prevents the price from going up. They don't notify you if it drops. Though Hardevelt says that's increasingly rare. With demand up 4%, Chances are fares are going to go up more likely than go down. And uh, I believe you'll see more airlines offer this in the future. So I ultimately ended up getting an even better deal. As for Gretchen, she says she will keep Fairlock in her arsenal of low cost airfare tools. She'll just use it a bit differently. I would just price check it every day. Now, there is a third party option called TripLock that you can use on sites like Orbit, Expedia, uh, Kayak, those third party booking sites. And they say they do notify you if the price goes down. Meanwhile, it's important to remember that airlines are required to hold a quoted fare for at least 24 hours if you make a reservation. And you also are allowed to cancel within 24 hours for a full refund. So there's two days right there. At SFO, Julie Watts, KPIX 5.